Hello everyone, this is Shishi coming to you today with another tutorial and this time my tutorial is the designer lady sandal. I showed this to my daughter and I'm so excited she finally said it looks like a lady's shoe sandal. So let me show you what it looks like. Here it is. So pretty. So I'm so excited that she finally can see that it's a shoe. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to make this and explain the template because this time I added a little connector to the strap. So I'm going to show you some different options on the template and how to put this together. Okay. So here's the template and I'll provide this in the description box below and go over some of the options. Now if you are concerned or you don't have a craft knife and it looks like this, you know some of the craft knives have a blade and they can be rather dangerous if you don't feel comfortable then don't use a craft knife to cut out the shaded areas. You can just leave them plain and decorate your shoe as you choose. But um, I have like little connector pieces to the straps and I did provide a strap. I drew one out so that you can connect it to that little piece right here. So you just connect it right down there and then I add a little bling right there. So the one that I have in my example, this one right here is actually this example right here. So if you cut out this one, it turns out like this. And then I also recommend you cut out, if you're making a paper clip embellishment, to cut out a second um, bottom layer you know for the bottom and that'll hide the paper clip so that's one and then there's different designs and you can come up with your own designs for all the different options on the template so um, I have this one and this is the bottom layer this is the inner layer of the piece and I put some gold for the inner layer as you can see to bring out the idea of a shoe and I always outline my shoes with some gold or silver leafing pens. So here you go. And this one does not have a connector piece but I did do some cutouts and I do have some samples to give you some inspiration. Um, feel free to design your shoe as you wish. Um, I've gone onto the shoe websites and I've used even Baker's Twine so I have some samples for you to um, you know look at some of the ideas I've come up with. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to show you how to put the shoe together. As always I recommend that you cut this out on some type of chipboard or cereal box and when you're starting out with your creases before you even cut out the um, template with a craft knife I recommend that you do your creases first and shape it around the, the um, chipboard and then do your um, cuts for your um, template. It's just a recommendation. I would just you know cut out the template first and then um, you know shape it and then go back and then cut out the design with the craft knife. It would be so much easier. I've done it the other way and it didn't come out right so I just thought I would sh um, share that tip with you. So I'm shaping it first and I didn't use a craft knife on this um, example so you can see that it still comes out cute whether you use a craft knife or not. So here I have a gold piece and the layer I'm using today is black. So I will um, take my second layer, adhere that together like so. Me some extra tape at the bottom. Okay, so put that together like that. I always put like a glue dot on the back. Just line it up a little bit. And I put a glue dot on the back like that. 
then I put this piece together just like in my other tutorials. I'll assemble this slightly. Sometimes it may come undone when you're trying to wiggle it through, but just fix it back. And then you just slide these two pieces in together and then push it down and then just feel for it like that. Now you'll need some glue to connect the other two pieces together. I've cut out a ring for mine, but you can, like I said, do the strap. So what I would recommend is that you connect the strap part, and I made the strap a little bit longer depending on what kind of circle you use, or if you use the strap, or you want your strap higher or lower. So you can adjust this part of the template as long as you like or as short as you like. So if you want it up a little bit higher or lower, I gave you that option. I didn't like make it too short to just match up with what I have at home. I designed it so that you can cut it to the length that you like, okay? So I'm going to put some glue on this and zoom in just a little bit. And I apologize to dogs. I don't know if you can hear them, but it's a little noisy this morning. <laughs> Put a little bit of glue right here. And then um, I go ahead and assemble that right here. And let that dry. Now it's up to you if you want the uh, top part of the strap or you know to go to lay on top or at the bottom. I usually just let it go on the bottom. So I'll just put some glue like right about here and then just press it down, let it dry, and then I'll go back and adjust it so that it can stand up and give you the illusion of a shoe. Then I'll turn it over and then I've cut out a, another piece so that I can make this into a paper clip embellishment. I have my hot glue going. And I'll just put a little bit of glue on here. And I'll just put a little bit of glue right here for a time to adhere this really quickly. And then I um, run this bottom layer into my paper crimper. And then if it shrivels up too much, I just kind of fan this out. Because it may be a little bit shorter, so I just fan it out a little bit. And then I'll press this down and let it sit. Okay, and while that's drying, because it's still a little bit warm, I'll show you some of my samples to give you some inspiration on how you can decorate your designer lady sandal. So, I'll bring this back. Here's my samples, and then I'll zoom out just a little bit. So you can see what I've come up with. And I'll push this up a little bit so you can see all my samples. Now, this one is this template right here. So this is how this turns out. So I thought that was really neat. So again, this is the template for this sample. I have this one right here, and this is the sample for this template right here. So that's how this turns out. And if you don't want to cut out the little holes, then this is how it turns out without the little holes. So it looks like that. Now I do have one right here that is a little bit similar to this one. See these uh, little areas are lower, so 
to give it a little bit higher raised area, it comes out like this. So this one is this template right here. So this is how this one turns out. For this sample right here, I have this one. And I've done it in brown and I did add some little flowers. So that's how this one turns out. And then my last sample, I didn't use any of the templates. I was on a designer shoe website and I noticed some of the shoes um, had like little straps and you know strings and different things so I just used some baker's twine and wrapped it around the shoe and I came up with this so I hope you like my samples and I gave you some inspiration to come up with some of your own designs and then um, this should be dry now so I'll flip this one over so you can see the gold one I wish I had some gold paper clips <laughs> but I don't I just have silver this would be nice to match the gold up with silver so this pretty much looks like the silver one so here's all my shoes and I think I'm going to be pretty much done for the the shoe series uh, I know a lot of you've requested for flower tutorials so I'll get back on um, flowers and some other things so I had so much fun creating these and I've enjoyed chatting with you you know through the comments and I appreciate all your feedback so if I do come up with some more ideas, I will, you know, post another video, you know, in a month or so, or I don't know if inspiration comes to me. <laughs> but um, let me know what you think. And if you make some, you know, let me know. I'd love to see what ideas you come up with. So, um, you know, take care, everyone, and have a great day. I just, I just love these. <laughs> Goodbye now.